you know as well as I do, there's a coffee shop every 10 metres. And the idea is, is for me to make you a cup of coffee that you'll walk past free shops to come to mine. About 20 years ago, I went to my first coffee machine when I went to the first cup of coffee, you know. Started enjoying it, started enjoying, started enjoying what the feedback from the people. We're in an area where uh, Brisbane's a bit different to Sydney. Coffee wasn't recognised here. We've changed that culture over the years. We started out at Petro Coffee. Um, that's on 133 Mary Street. We later rebranded that to Punch. From there we purchased Chocolate Soldier. That was one of the first stores that I sort of took the helm of that one. From there we then moved on to Belletta Espresso Bar, which created that, that flagship and that group name. An opportunity came up next door and it was either give it to someone else or become my own competition. So we opened up Espresso Velucci. Then from there we went to Cafe Pacino, then Bar Pacino. Following that we did Espresso Emporium, Metropole Bar Eatery, Santa Monica, Santa Monica Express. And then at the time I think we were both stressed to our eyeballs and we thought it was a good idea to open up Short Street. That sort of led us now to the magnitude of the group. We're massive believers in positivity and momentum. You know, you always hear Dad saying, just be positive, just, you know, find the brighter side, just push through it. You've got to believe in what you do and I think nothing is impossible. We just do things very, very differently, you know. It's sort of like we'll see a way of making coffee and go, okay, that works for us and then the volume obviously doesn't lie. It's one of those things where with that, that attitude and, and changing it up a little bit, it's sort of personalised. So there comes a point where, as an owner, you've actually, in order to grow, you've got to step back from your business. But when you hear your manager saying, hey, it's not how the boys want it done, it's how the Belletta group do it, it's like, okay, we've just started our identity. You need the people through the door in order to be, to be successful or in order for it to work. Nobody walks in without you being acknowledged or without you saying hello or do they take us, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you can say, hey, how you going? And yeah, that's, that's, that's part of the culture that I think has made us successful. The big thing with us is we're just not scared to give anything a go. And I think as long as we stay that way, I think the partnership will always be strong and work. You've got a strong, strong passion for coffee. So I think that will always, no matter what we diversify to, I've got a dad that I respect and love and admire, but I've also got this best friend that I can ring and probably tell him stuff that I shouldn't tell a father, but he puts you know, the, the mate hat on and we have that chat. Two seconds later, he puts the other hat on and we're talking about lease agreements and it just sort of gels. We've probably got all the highest kilo sites in Brisbane. So we must be doing something right to achieve that. <laughs>